Shouldn't AJ be in school? Just throwing it out there. Hey, uh, Valentine's Day, AJ, and everyone else, uh, is uh, 10 days away. Uh, the folks, our friends at Fleming's in West Hartford, want you to have every option imaginable to impress that significant special someone in your life for an intimate dinner. Why? Well, let's just ask uh, chef partner Hedley Wilson and, uh, of course, uh, operations manager Liz, Ka Liz Kayak, uh, because you guys are not just doing one night of Valentine's Day. No, you're doing... Doing 11. 11 days. 11 days. You've heard of the 12 days of Christmas, 11 days of Valentine's Day. Nice to have you both. Nice to have you Thank back you here again. Uh, why do 11 days? Everyone has different schedules. Uh -huh. You know, some people work on Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. Some people aren't able to get out, can't get babysitters. Uh -huh. So we said, I'll let's just for celebrate yeah. for the whole 11 days. Uh -huh. So it starts this Thursday and it Absolutely. goes till the Sunday afterwards. As a chef extraordinaire, does that put added pressure on you? Uh, somewhat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let it all out there, Henley. <laughs> we want it to be perfect. Well, we have a wonderful menu here, and we're going to show you some of the things in just a second. But one one of the signatures, in addition to being, doing the fine steaks that you do, is you do, you do fine lobsters, too. And we're going to do that right now. Correct. Right? How are we going to do it for Valentine's Day? Uh, so for our Valentine's Day, uh, you know, we just, we're just going to simply roast it. Mm-hmm. Uh, usually you'll cut down the back of the, the tail, which I already okay. have cut. Right. And what you do after you do that is, you know, just crack the back a little bit okay. and just pop the meat out. Now this is, obviously this is, uh, this has already been uh, dead. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I believe, sure. I believe that's a culinary term. Dead. Right. You've boiled it to do that or, or what are we talking here? All right. No. So what we do is, uh, a lot of people are afraid to, to, to cook lobster. Where I'm going with this. Exactly. Right. Um, so. What, hap what we do is, it's a very simple meal to cook. Mm -hmm. um, it takes literally, you know, eight to ten minutes in the oven, mm -hmm. and it depends on the, the poundage of the lobster. So this is a is a ten ounce lo ten right. ounce lobster. Okay. So which takes you know literally eight minutes to cook. Okay. All right. Yeah. Once it goes in the oven, how long are we putting it in for? Eight minutes. Eight. What, what, at what temperature? At four hundred degrees. Four hundred degrees. Yeah. Okay. So you got your lobster tail. You're already gone, uh, and you you could buy them already taken care of, a little t business taken care of if you like, which makes right. it easier. So you don't have to do that stuff if you feel a little uncomfortable. In and out. Eight In minutes. And out. Yep. Watch this. We're gonna speed through eight minutes at four hundred degrees. Right. Yep. While that's happening, Liz, what else you got on uh, the the festivities uh, special menu? You know, we, we're doing a wonderful three course prefixed menu, uh, all for Valentine's Day. Right. Um, show, it, show off some of the other things that you got here. While, yeah, while we have we're some amazing things that we brought with us. This is off of our chef's table menu. Uh -huh. So these are tenderloin stuffed dumplings. Right. You can't go wrong with that. Fleming's with known for their steaks. So anything with a tenderloin in it is going to be just yeah. fine. And, and speaking of, this is Headley's creation. This is his take on a beef Wellington. Uh, it's a surf and turf with a Alaskan crab leg on top and some caviar Beautiful. on top of a lobster and if foam. you really want to impress your day, you will go with the Wagyu, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. That, that, pulling out all the stops. They there. will actually not serve it to you like that. They will cook it. Uh, we <laughs> actually cook it table side. So we'll cook it for you right here. We bring out the grill and um, Headley will come visit you personally and uh -huh. he will cook yeah. that Wagyu table side is, for is you. This not, is this not a face that just screams, <laughs> come back, romance right here? You, you know, you have a romantic dinner. He's your guy. He's your and, guy. And, of right? and, and, and we'll get to the dessert in just a second. But we, okay, you, this is what the finished product looks like. So yeah. there's that lobster tail. So you, you, and again, you just kind of pop that out of the shell that you cut down just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's beautiful. I mean, you just and you just dusted it with a little paprika. A little that's paprika. It. Yeah. yeah. Keep it just simple. Just to give it some color. Sh show me the dessert real quickly because we got to go. So that's off of our prefix menu. So that's a white chocolate bread pudding okay. um, served with a little raspberry foam. It to, is decadent. I don't know where to start, but I don't have a fork, so I'm, I'm just... I'm I'm not even we gonna, brought them. Oh, don't good. Worry. You have a fork. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, good. If you want directions on how to do this perfectly, Headley will set you up. We'll give it to you on fox61.com. Have a good Valentine's Day, 11 day extravaganza. And Thank for the love of so God, much. with all the romance, pace yourself. Pace. Okay. Thank good. you. It's a marathon. We got more coming back. <laughs>